Hello, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I hope you subscribe and click that bell button. I'll try to post as much as I can. And sorry that I'm in the bathroom, but I have no other lighting. So just don't mind that light back there. And sorry for my moving. I'm actually standing because I don't have anywhere to sit. So anyways, um, I hope you like this video. So keep watching and you'll find out. So. I'm doing my monthly box for June. I was going to say January, but uh, yeah, that's not January. Anyways, I'm sick, so bear with me, please. And for those of you who don't know what this is, this is $21 a month um, subscription that um, I do. And I enjoy it because you get five full products. It says four to five, but I usually get five just because um, that's what they sell me. I don't know why they say four, so anyways. Um, if you want to know what's in the box, just keep watching and you'll find out. So, I already untaped it because right here it has this tape and it's annoying. So, yeah. And I haven't done any. I just did my, like, foundation stuff I did, and, like, blush and whatever. I didn't do anything else. So, the first thing that I... Ooh, look at this box. It's right here. Sorry. So, the first thing I see, it says BoxyCharm Getaway. Well, too late. A lot of my family is going on a vacation this uh, year, and I'm not, so I'm a little bummed. Anyways, so, uh, this just tells you what you're getting in your box and what the prices are. So, I got variation 10. Sorry, I'm trying to make it look perfect. So, we'll see what I get in my box. I actually don't know. I, um, I saw it on the internet, like, on my email, but I'm not sure. So this thing, ooh, the first thing I get is from Touch and Sew. It's the Nord Problem Prime Essence. Ooh, look at that. So, everybody should have gotten this in their box because it, um, I've seen variations and people said everybody gets this. So look at, oh, look at this. This is so cool. I've never actually used this. And I've heard people say that it comes out like crazy. So when you, um, try it on, it's like a primer. So you have to, like, be very, um lightly do it because it'll shoot out like crazy and I don't want to waste the product because I love the primer. I have the uh, No Problem original one and ooh, let's feel it. Oh, this feels like, it's like an oil. Sorry, you can't really see it, but it's like an oil. But I have the other one that they sent like a while back in the box and so I love it. I use it a lot. It makes my face smoother because I have eczema so that works. Anyways, oh, the next thing I got is this blush from Note, the brand. Um, it's in the shade Desert Rose. I was kind of hoping for the um, highlighter. Sorry, excuse the noise. Somebody's using the potty. And uh, the washer's going. So, anyways, I was actually going for the... Uh, Highlighter, which I mean, I have like, oh, look at this. Oh, look at this, and it has a little like mirror. Yeah, I'm using my iPad. My I don't have a camera, so anyways, you'll see me. Oh, and it says no time. Let me let me swatch it because oh, I love swatching blushes. Oh, ooh, look at that. I it's kind of like more like an orangey peachy tone for me, but I mean, I like what I don't use, I give it away to my family, which they love so. That shouldn't be a problem. Oh, and then I got this Dominique Cosmetic color, and I got the shade Strawberry Lemonade, which I don't know if everybody got the same color or uh, there was variations in the color, because I know last month they boxed for the Ciate London um, Liquid Eyeshadow um, Stick. They had variation colors, so I wasn't sure if this month was the same as last month with variations or if they were all the same and I can't open this so bear with me. So, oh, here it is. <sighs> wow. I have never owned a brand, um, anything from this brand. So I'm excited to uh, try it and uh, give it a whirl. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. I love strawberries. So anything strawberry gets me excited. Look at that. There's the shade. Oh, it's super nice. I don't really use like a lot of pinkies, peach shown tones. I use like 
burgundies or reds because I'm a red girl. I love red, so yeah. The next thing we got was this Tarte High Performance Natural Palette. Be you naturally. Honestly, I would have done without it if they would have sent like another palette from like somewhere else because I feel like we got one in another previous boxy charm and I still use it, but it's just it's not my go to one, so we'll see about this one. This is the packaging, it's really pretty. I like this. The packaging is nice, like literally. But then like I don't know. <clears throat> oh look at this. Oh no. Well, it's not completely broke at all, but look at this mirror. It's got like stuff on it. The last time I didn't have all that. So let's swatch. Ooh. Let's swatch the top one. Just oh ooh. what are we doing here? Oh my goodness. Oh snap. Um let's do all the shades that I like. Oh my goodness. So sorry I'm bad at swatching. <laughs> I'm trying to bring my iPad. So these are like some of the shades. Sorry I'm not good at this. <laughs> Anyways. You guys got the idea because some of you guys got it. So, most of you got it actually. So, anyways, that's that. <coughs> oh, then I got these. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I got these Pearly's Matcha Green Sheet Masks. Oh, and it's for all skin types because I am dry skin. So, any masks, I freak. I think I have one Tatcha one, but. Um. I don't know if BoxyCharm does it based on your skin type like Ipsy does, but I'm guessing they do because everything I've gotten, like sheet masks or like um, the last time I got the Glam Glow thing, I don't know. I have gotten it and it says all skin types or like just for my skin type, so I'm pretty pleased because I can't use a lot of stuff. And excuse my hair, I didn't brush it because I'm sick, so... <laughs> Plus, it's raining, so when it rains, I don't strain my hair because my hair gets nasty. Well, anyways, that is in the box. Everything that we got. I'm going to see how much... <laughs> As I already dropped my palette, and I probably broke it now because I've done that before. Oh, snap. I got a palette from... Oh, what's the brand? Oh, Pixie by Petra, and I broke it in my room on the carpet. My carpet was full of black... Well, it wasn't black, but it was a dark shade, so I ruined it, and I'm pretty upset because I like that palette a lot, and I got it for TJ, in TJ Maxx for like seven bucks or so, so it wasn't that expensive. So the Tarte palette is 36, and the Touch and Soul primer is 23, and the Dominique Cosmetics is 17. And the masks are $12. And the pearlies. Oh, no, no, no. The note um, blush was 12 And these pearlies are $24, these sheet masks. So the value comes out to $112. I mean, the palette itself covered for the box because it's $21 and the palette was $36, I believe. Yep. So $112. Not bad. I have to say this month's box was, yeah, it was, it was alright. I mean, I'll give the palette a whirl. I'm actually going to use it now because I haven't used any eyeshadow. And I was kind of hoping for the highlighter. So I didn't put any on either. But I have this one that I got in the previous box. Pretty vulgar, I'm pretty sure. Everybody got one. Or I don't know if there was a variation that time, but I'm excited to use it. So... We're going to grab my brush. This is from, I can't say the name, but I got it like an Ipsy a long time ago. So, we're just going to do this. I don't usually do my highlighter online, and I'm going to use this mirror because I can't do it um, in this. I don't usually do my highlighter because I'm not good at it. <laughs> I literally don't know how to do highlighter. So when people ask me, can you do highlighter? I'm like, nope, I don't know how. I'm just winging it as I go because I watch a lot of videos and I still don't know what I'm doing. So bear with me if I'm not an expert because I'm not a 
makeup arts. But I would like to learn how to do it just so I'm not like, okay, how do you do this? So, okay, that's that. Now I'm going to try the eyeshadow because I, this is from Maybelline. And it's 20 Legion, the color. It was like two something or three fifty in the sale de in the sale department clearance section at Walmart, and I was like, um, this stuff is expensive. Just for this, so I was excited to find it because I love primers. I'm obsessed with primers and concealers, but I'm using this as a concealer because I don't really like using my other concealer. So. Let's get on with this video. So now I have an eyeshadow palette. I'm actually going to use this brush. Um, the name rubbed off. I can't tell, but it's one of these, like, one of these fluffy brushes. Look. So. <coughs> Oops, there goes my box. Well, anyways, it doesn't matter. So, this has a variation of mostly mattes and, like, shimmers. But we're going to get in this shade right here. Which probably is hard. It's tropical, I think. <coughs> the names are in the back but this palette seems like it's uh, I'm going to use this mirror this palette feels like it's just made exclus exclusively for BoxyCharm because the last one I got was it looked like it could have been an original but this looks like it could be uh, exclusive for BoxyCharm only so it's different now because the names are on the back, so you'll have to bear with me on finding out the names because they're not in the little like circle in the middle here, so okay, let's uh let's find a new shade. I don't know what shade I want. I'm not sure. Um let's try Oh, and by the way, this prime, this highlighter, I just remembered it's pretty pigmented, so it, it gets everywhere on me, because I used it the other day, too, and I use different ones, so it's not every day I use it, but I used it the other day, and my sister thought it was uh, something else in my face. I'm like, no, it's the highlighter I have. It's a lot. It's pigmented, so it makes sense. Um... So this is my other brush that I got in the Nipsey. I think it's from Alamar Cosmetics. I can't remember. It doesn't have a name on it, so I think somebody said it's Alamar, but it's already used. It's okay. Because there's a shade in here that's similar to it-ish, maybe. So we're going to use this top shade here. I'm going to use this mirror again, just because I'm obsessed with this mirror in here. This is the one thing I love about these palettes, that they come with mirrors. Because a lot of the palettes do not, like, oh, like, one time when we got the Alamara Cosmetics um, blush, it came with a mirror. I was like, oh. finally, because I love, I love mirrors. A lot of the times they don't have mirrors, and, like, I have my Pixie doesn't have a mirror, my Pixie Pen for Mirror palette, and then... Some other ones that I have. Oh, I love that uh, my Bare Minerals one has a palette with a mirror, and some of my my pure one that we got in the Poxy Charm has mirror, and like others have mirrors. And I'm just excited because I love mirrors. So. I'm getting a brush. If you're wondering why I keep going back and forth, but yeah. So this one is from. I think it's. Luxie. It's from Boxy Charm too, I'm sure. You guys have seen it. Ooh, this shade right here on the bottom is like pretty, but I'm thinking I don't know which brush I want. I think I'm gonna use this one, this like angled brush, which is from the same brand Luxie. So I'm like going different. I am like using different mirrors just because I can't keep up with the mirrors. So this is where I look. I have a mirror. In front of me and in the palette and then yeah so I 
And I hate being sick because I was sick this year in the beginning of the month. Well, last year in December. Like after Christmas into December and or into January and it wasn't fun because then I can't do anything. <clears throat> so I am not happy that I'm sick because it's just not fun. I hate being sick. I like, I wish I wasn't, but my mom came back from a trip and she gave me the cold. So she sounds not so much sick anymore. Which is a really bummer because I, I'm going to use that shade again, the brown, and like keep burying it in here, like, maybe I can bring it a little bit because, um, ooh, I love more like browns and stuff, they're like, they're like my favorite, browns are like, because I like to make, um, Smoky eye looks ish, and oh, I just love brown, and so I like get obsessed with brown. Just <sighs> I forgot to bring a brush for the uh, bottom part here, so bear with me. I'm gonna use this brown, or maybe I can use this. It's just like a blending brush, but yeah. I'm going to use it just right here at the bottom here. Just because I forgot my other brush that I usually use. It's, a, it's easier for me to use here, but I'm going to use my finger. Let's see, I swatched my finger. I mean, these eyeshadows so are this. I blow on my finger either way. People probably think I'm weird, but I do not. Yeah. And then I bought this um, mascara, but it doesn't work for me, like the wand. Oh, look at it. It doesn't seem to do like justice. So I have used it, and it was like five bucks. I mean, I'm going to use it again, just because. Oh, I dropped it, just because. And I'm going to use now this mirror, because I am obsessed with mirrors. So, use this. Um, I don't have good mascara. I mean, I got one from BoxyCharm that was the Butter London one, which that one was like the best one because BoxyCharm got it right. But I don't have. Any, I mean, I I don't have any more. But you know what you can do is if you don't have a lot of mascara product left, like it's in kind of oldish mascara, just put a little bit of, I use um, Sister's Contact Solution, and then, or you can use um, eye solution, like um, eye drops, and that seems to do the trick. So, I use that for the... Mascara because I have this really nice Dior show one or whatever, and I paid like thirty dollars for it, which is ridiculous for a mascara. But I'm obsessed with the brand, so I bought one, and I was down to the wire, as in like there wasn't much left, and so I decided to um, add stuff to it because. Three dollars is a lot for mascara, literally. I don't pay that much for mascaras. I mean, some people do, which, which is fine, but I don't like to because it's expensive. So now I'm gonna go in with this Butter London one because this one's really good, but this one I ran out of like product. I go through mascaras like crazy, so I was excited when BoxyCharm when BoxyCharm sent the two-faced one. 
And then they sent this Body London one. Because, yeah. So. Oh, and uh, if you have like lip um, product on your lips, as in concealer stuff, just. I'm sorry, I'm being gross. But I thought it would be odd to turn on the water so that it would make noise for y'all. So I found that trick on a line somewhere. I don't know. I'm actually not wearing this color, like, to try it on. I was going to actually wear this one. It's a Neutrogena Hydrating uh, Lip Color, and it's in the shade Deep Cherry. I know you can't see it. But it was $2.25 in Walmart, so... <coughs> Excuse me. So, I'm just going to try this by itself because I don't have any, like, lip colors, so... Bear with me. And I'm gonna use this mirror on top. So it's kind of like a light color. So you can't really see it, but uh, this is the look that I did. I did not use this. I already had my makeup partially done so I hope you like this video and please subscribe and um, comment down below what variation you got and what was your favorite product of your box mine had to be this primer because I love the original primer oh, it's so awesome and then next it had to be this wash because I'm obsessed I don't know if it comes with a sponge probably does Oh yeah, it comes with like a little brush and I didn't see that. Well anyways, I hope you like this video so. Anyways, I hope to see you the next time and have a great day. Bye.